Hello and welcome to my first video. If you're watching this video, you are probably thinking about buying a Benelli TNT 135. I'm going to share some of my opinions about the bike and try to top it out real quick. Now a little bit of background on me. This is my first street bike or half a street bike as a lot of people like to criticize I've had it for about two weeks put about 200 miles on it I initially bought it because my other vehicles are WRX I get like 17 18 miles to the gallon this thing gets like a hundred that translates to spending seventy dollars a week in gas to spending seven dollars a week in gas which is a no-brainer bike pretty much pays for itself if this is your first bike i say go for it it's very light which means you're not going to drop it easily very manageable it doesn't have a whole lot of power so you're not gonna go getting some whiskey throttle in the middle of rush hour and it's a cheap, fun way just to get on two wheels. This isn't about power. Just keep that in mind when you're buying one of these. Not gonna be out here chasing down Lambos. All said and done, I spent about $3,200 on the bike, which is about $600 more than an SSR, and $700 or $1,000 less than a Kawasaki or Honda Grom. You're not gonna have all the options of aftermarket stuff like you would on a Honda Grom or even a Kawasaki. Still some options, but I'm sure as more people buy them, the demand will go up. Now, I sat on a Grom, I sat on a Kawasaki, I tried out the SSR, and this one was seriously the most comfortable for me, which is why I ended up buying it. I'm 6'2", about 180, 190 pounds, maybe 200 all geared up. Reasons to choose the Benelli. You get a cool little switchblade key, Italian engineering. You get an extra 10 cc's, about 3 extra horsepower, which is 30%, so pretty substantial. You get the extra spark plug for fuel scavenging, an oil cooler for those long rides. You get the Italian trellis frame, a larger frame, integrated LED taillights, which I mean looks are pretty much why you buy anything with a motor, second to performance of course. It's a little bigger than the competitors, but it's still not a big bike, so you are going to feel very small out here, and I would not recommend getting on the highway with it, just because you don't have the ability to get away like you would on a regular street bike. The only move you're going to have in an incident is to just break. With the small tires, you don't have a huge contact area, so stopping isn't really the greatest at top speed which is where you're going to be the whole time on the highway. Let's see what it tops out at. Seventy-five miles an hour. Motorcycle speedometers are notorious for being inaccurate so I'm sure this is different from other videos and it's probably going to be different from your experience but it's just about an estimate maybe you agree with some of my points maybe you just want something that's a mini bike but it's a little different from the Grom so if you're thinking about getting a mini bike there's a few things to think about here's some numbers and words that mean some stuff if you like what you see like, subscribe check out some of my other videos whenever they come up. 